In today's video, I'm going to show you how to bypass the tip sensor, also known as the bank angle sensor. So I'm going to show you two different ways to bypass the tip sensor. It's going to depend on how you're running your bike. If you're doing full fairing with headlights, there's going to be one way to bypass it. And then if you're going to be running it naked, no fairings, no headlights, there's a second way to bypass it in a different location. So I'll show you both of those ways. This is what the inside of your headlight assembly looks like. That's the plug where the main harness connects to. That green wire is the ground wire going into that plug, but I think the previous owner may have snipped it or somehow it broke. So he just ended up making like a jumper across. Should be right there. So your harness isn't going to look like this. Mine's kind of messed up a little bit. But if you're running full fairing with the headlight, this right here is what your tip sensor is. You want to unscrew those two bolts, unplug the connector right here, and completely remove the tip sensor. You want to do the bypass right here on this side of the plug. Uh, right on the right side connecting to the rest of the harness. Like I said, the tip sensor gets r completely removed here and unplugged from the connector and you do the bypass right here. Um, you have your red with white, white and green. Do not cut the white. You're cutting the red with white, splicing into the green ground. If you want to do it up by the plug, you can do the same thing with the same wires, the green, red with white. I don't recommend it because this ground goes through the whole harness and is basically the ground for your headlights, your turn signals. So rather not mess with it there, do it right here on the headlight assembly. So that's the first part if you're running your headlight and full fairings. The second method is highly recommended if you're doing a naked bike, no fairing, no headlight. You wanna come back to the rear part of the harness and find your engine cut relay right here, this guy here. What you'll do is you should have a bunch of ground wires here, the green wires. What you want to do is take this bottom right, red with white, bottom right corner here, cut it, solder it to any one of the ground wires available back here, and that bypasses the tip sensor. Um, you don't have to do anything with the main harness up front, cut any of that. You're just doing it all back here. It's cleaner. It's more tucked away. If you're running full fairing with headlight, I showed you how to do that in the beginning, and for naked, no fairing, no headlight, this is where you want to do it, right in the back here, bottom right. I'll pull out the wiring diagram. I'll show you what I mean. Shout out to Paul from the FRI Stunt Riders Facebook group. This is where I got the idea to do the tip sensor bypass in the back. I did not come up with it myself, so I just want to give credit where credit's due. I'll include a better screenshot of this in the video, but when you're doing it up front, you have your bank angle sensor there, and you're doing the bypass right at this point here with the red with white and the green. And then when you're doing the naked, no headlight, no fairing, you're back here engine stop relay that red with white you trace it all the way up here through this plug it's the same red with white so you can do it up here for headlight full fairing or back here for no headlight no fairing naked bike so that's how you bypass your tip sensor I'll show you it when I'm done I'm gonna do it back here I'm gonna cut it solder it together put some heat shrink over it tape it up and I'll show you the final result. So here's what the bypass looks like back here. I took one of my ground wires and then I cut the plug. I probably cut it a little too short. Um, I don't know if it, you can see the other end of the wires down right here. I probably should have rolled back this tape a little bit and pulled out a little more so I could give myself a little extra here. I just stripped each end of the wire and then soldered them together and then I have heat shrink over it and now I'm going to tape it up. I'm going to clean up all these electrical connections. Probably when I get the seat back and the subframes completely done I'll finalize all that but that's kind of the layout here. But yeah it was pretty simple to just do this and it can kind of all sit right under here underneath the seat. I'll probably find a way to secure everything make sure nothing comes undone. I did make sure that the bike does run, um, and I'm going to do that after every kind of major modification I make. So when I do the clean air mod, quick fuel disconnect, a radiator cage, all that kind of stuff. Basically anything that would affect whether or not the bike runs, I'm going to check it after each thing that I do. And that way I can kind of, if something does go wrong and the bike doesn't start, I can kind of eliminate some steps uh, in troubleshooting because I'll know when and where something went wrong. But that is how you bypass the tip sensor or your bank angle sensor, the same thing on the on the FRI.
stash in the carpet. Yeah, we trapping.